1965, 2015, 50 Jahre FCM, lass die Fahne jetzt in Wind wehen. Du bist unser Stolz, heb die Arme, lass den Club leben. Die Bestie war nie weg, es wird für immer unser Club leben. Wir stehen geschlossen hinter dir, die blaue Wand steht für den Osten. Die Fans sind dir im Verein und verlassen die den Posten. Hart auf Fossen, komm nach Magdeburg und du kannst es lieber kosten. Wir sind Hi guys, welcome back. This is episode 9, the season opener for uh, the second season with FC Magdeburg. We are in Bundesliga 2 now after our championship win in season last year. Um, we've been busy in the transfer market. First of all, an indifferent pre-season. Um, win, loss, win, loss. One defeat came, both defeats we've been on top. But the only my only issue is that... We lost 1-0 against FC Rot vs Erfurt. They were relegated from the division we were in last year. We did batter them. I'm just hoping it was just a one-off. Um, we did have a few changes as well. Um, Beck and Duke and either of them played. The other two strikers that we've got in played. Um, and the other defeat came against our Eintracht um, Brauching, I think they're called. Um, they're our affiliate club. They actually went... Um, up last year so they're in the Bundesliga and we absolutely battered them as well so I'm very very happy with how the season's gone now we have had a few little transfers let me just show you where are we uh, transfer is straight um, so there's no money left we have spent all our money um, three outs um, Hanker he was a cover centre half he, I let him go on a free um, Nynema was the left back and um, we've got a, a decent sum of 140k um i think in our standards that's that's a you know a decent amount of money and then harant the young striker has gone out on loan just because we've we've strengthened again up front um and he wasn't going to get any game time and i thought instead of putting him in 19s i would i would t test him sending him out on loan and see if he gets some game time so he's gone to um them <laughs> they're um they're the league below us okay on the ins um a lot of ins um Franjo Price, a free loan, no wages, no cost or anything. Um, central defender, um, potential four star, just average, best of what we could we could potentially get really. Um, there was a player who played for Bournemouth called Bailey Cargill. We just didn't. He wanted to sign for us. He agreed to it, and then I had to delay it and delay it because we just couldn't get the signing on enough money from the signing on fee. Um, so he's coming in anyway. It was as a backup, but with him and our other new signing, Regan Poole, who um, is a Man United player, um, just been released. He can go up to four and a half star. He's only 20. I think I'm just going to go with Price just to start with, um, mainly because he's a bit bigger and a little bit stronger. Um, but then they're two young, decent centre-halves. Um, probably the most popular name, Lebo Kozak. He did sign for Villa a few years ago. I think he had a few seasons and had a bit of a bit of a torrid time. I think he was injured for a lot of it. Um, he's a big target man, six foot four. Um, of obviously awesome physicals, decent mentals, and decent technicals. You know, thirteen finishing, fifteen heading. He, with the way that we play with a target man, I'm just hoping he was a freebie as well. I think it was a free transfer. Yeah, free transfer. So I just thought he's a name, someone I know for a change. And I'm hoping he might be able to just add, so rotate our strikers a little bit next year instead of relying on Beck and Duke. Um, the next one, Ennis Olushi. Um, he was one of our first signings. Have as a change to an advanced playmaker. You know, he's got his decent, for what you need as a playmaker. 13, 13 first touch, passing's decent, technique, flares on the on the low side, composure 16, teamwork 14, vision 13. I thought all in round, you know, he's a freebie, just over two grand a week. It was an easy one, you know. There's, there wasn't a lot out there for what for what we could afford. Um, we have got this guy in on four and a half grand a week, though. Goalkeeper. A lot of clubs wanted him. We have been beat time and time again for players. I will show you one in a minute who, uh, who was actually playing for Sandhausen, who we're playing today. Um, but we were lucky enough to land him. Um, Zenter, Zenter, Zentner, Zentner. We'll go with Zentner. Um, he's going to be our first choice goalie for the year. Um, really happy to pick him up. Um, another loan, got him on a complete free, no wages. Um, left winger, I was gonna, I was just looking for backup, and then he came up. You know, he's got 15 crossing, 15 dribbling, first touch 14, technique 15, acceleration 15, pace 14. So for me, I'm expecting him. If if we have a half decent season, I think he will be a major factor. He can also fill on the right hand side as well if need be. Um, 
So I'm really happy with him. And he's had a, he's had a decent preseason. Leonardo Gatto, okay, one of our money money spent. Um, more about his physicals and mentals. He's, he's you know he's got crossing twelve, which for our level you know maybe is is average at best. But he comes in on the cheap. He's a winger. Can also play on the left side in five forward if I want to change it up a little bit. Um, and for what hundred and thirty grand, you know I couldn't say no. And then these two, the next two, this is probably my signing of the summer. So Aloni, he's costing five and a half grand a week. He's going to be the starter as an advanced player maker. But look at this, 14, 15, 15, 15, 14, 13, 15. And what you need. Poten current ability, already four and a half star. Potential ability, five star, obviously. Um, he played in the 19 games in the Bundesliga last year for Stuttgart. So hopefully he might well be the sign of the season. And then this guy, Dennis Sabini. So if you didn't know, um, Dortmund actually have a German manager. I think he's called Farker. Daniel Farker. Could be right. Got completely wrong. Um, German, he was a Dortmund um, youth team coach. He must have signed this guy because in real life, Norwich paid 1.3 million for him. He hasn't played. He's a target man at the age of 24. Um, with him being German... Decent current ability, good potential, uh, good potential ability. Target man, what we use can also play as a shadow striker. I decide to break the bank, so he cost us a mighty three hundred thousand pounds. Um, so that is it. I do not know what the season is going to go like. To be honest, I am going to start with this team today, but I'm just going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to be boring. We're going to go... No, we're not going to go that boring. We're just going to go standard. And we're going to go retain possession. See if we can just hold on to the ball a little bit better. That's the team for today. I think that's the strongest I can do at the moment. They could quite possibly be changed. Because we have got decent numbers in there with um, Sabeni and Kozak. Also subs that can maybe come on and do a job. Let's see, Kozak's injured. So he's not going to be able to play. So we'll get Low Kemp. Low Kemp is transfer listed. We are trying to get out a few out. Um, we're at the budget. No, no money left. Once he goes, that'll be in the that'll be in the plus slightly. Um, I will very quickly show you the coaching staff. Lars Kuntz has gone. If you didn't see him on Twitter, Lars Lars Kuntz, our physios, uh, under 19s physio, has gone. He's gone to Colne, but we did get a hundred grand for him, which I thought was was pretty decent. Um, our coaching team now consists of Julian Dix. And Patrick Cliver. So we've got a few legends now in the game. Um, Clivert's our attacking coach. Julian Dix is just focused on defence. This is what I do. I'll show you very, very quickly. This is how I set mine up. So each coach just has one or two. Um, I'm on tactics. Um, and then as you see, you know, he's three and a half star. Clivert's three and a half star. Youngbird, three and a half star. Three and a half star. So we're doing all right. The only thing is, fit, is, the, is the fitness. But we're, we're at our maximum. So, for today, we are taking on Sandhausen, who I think are going to be down there with us. Um, they're predicted to finish 14th, I think. So, if you're looking at the league, it's going to be a, that, that is going to be a vital... Today's is going to be probably a vital six-pointer. Um, they did pick up this man, who I really wanted. And I offered more, and he's chosen these. I, I, I can understand why, because we've just moved up. He would have been, I think, awesome. Playing in a variety of positions. You know, he can cross the ball, he can dribble, he can finish. Um, he's big, he's six foot two, so you could have used him as a target man. His heading's not decent, to be fair. But I, I would have probably used him as an advanced forward. Because he's got the decent pace, acceleration, he can finish. That's what I would have done with him. But he's chosen to go to them. I'm just hoping today he is not the difference. So that's our team. Emmanuel on the left, Turpitz on the right. Beck and Duca starting up front together. Beck's now club captain. Duca is vice captain. Debutants in Burnick as well. Um, Bestie, Price, another debutant. Um, Zenetna, Zenetna, the goalkeeper. Let's get into it. We're just going to do the one today. So if we get spanked today, we could be in for a long season. But we'll see how we get on. Right, guys, here we go. First game of the season at home against Sandhausen. By the way, thank you as everyone who's been liking um, the vids and subscribe. I've had a, a, a gradual increase over the last two weeks, so thank you. 
I have got a series, a new series. Once the experiment's gone with um, Pep and Jose, um, we are going to start a new series with Chelsea, and it'll be an English um, contingent, um, the English Legion. Um, but there'll be more on that. Ooh, there'll be more on that as we over the next couple of weeks. But that's what I'm planning to do. Something a little bit different. A lower league save with Madgeberg and then sort of like a, a money spending with a little bit of a twist, getting some English boys back into Chelsea. So 22 played. I'm going to be brave. We're going to go up to control. Let's have, a, let's have a shout. Let's push them forward. We're pretty even, yeah, seven to six. We've had three half chances though. Oh, there it is, one nil, ball over the top. Oh dear, oh dear. And he's half injured. I think defence, defence once again, but as I said, I, I've spent Hours, hours and hours scanning players, player searches for some decent defenders, and we we just there was nothing about nothing for freeze anyway, freeze and loans. Can you get a chance here? Beck, surely? Oh, he's missed a bloody sitter. Right, we'll do some changes. Let's take that off. Play it back out wide. Rother to Best. Oh, no, to Burnick. Rother blocked. See, we're in control of the game, though, which I'm happy with. I know Snow, the ball over the top. He's going to kill us. He's going to be another highlight to us. No, we've lost it. Get there first. Well done. Pop play. Advanced playmaker. Two pits. Cross. Here we go. Oh, we've got a penalty. A penalty. Don't know what the hell it was for, but we will take it. Christian Beck. Yes. 1-1. One, one. We're up and running. Sorry, really thirsty tonight. I've had a absolute massive ham and beetroot sandwich and it's made me very thirsty I love a late night stack so this is what time is it now I've come home from work it's 10 to 12 I'm recording this I do all my recording late on a night when the little ones are fast asleep right let's get some let's get some uh, subs in we'll put Lucy in there oh he cannot play that at all can he do that What can he do? Can we change that round maybe? Let's play him as that. Uh, let's get Sir Benny on. It's getting encouraging. Can we nick? You know, so once again, we you know 16 shots. I think we've deserved at least a point. But these are the games, home games against teams around about as we need to be we need to be picking up three. No, we've had three look three clear cut chances as well. We've got 14, 14, 13, 14 minutes to play. Looks like they're gonna get attack here. Yes they are. Oh good save. It's an etna. Oh, is there a break on best? Yes, there is. To pits. Get in the box. Get in the box. Get in the box. Get in the box. He's crossed it. The keeper's going to get it. Let's be brave. Let's be brave. Let's go to attacking. Demand more. Burnick's injured. Uh, he's going to have to play. <laughs> he's going to have to play. There's only a few minutes left. 
it going to be a draw? Can we get create one more chance? Is it going to be a chance? No, that's full time. So that's it, guys. One one season opener. You know, from that, I don't think I'm going to. I am going to try and control games. I think. I think we're going to concede, so we might as well. I'll do it now. I don't know when the next time I'm going to pick up this game. Do, do, do. We will look at going. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. At least control. Take off, retain possession. We might go direct. We might have a little go at being direct, I think. Yeah, we'll go for that. So that's it, guys. If you enjoyed, enjoyed today's video, please drop a like in there. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And uh, thank you for watching. See you later.